Now we, you also have saints work that you do on the regular. Ten days out of the year, and more than that when we go to playoffs. What is this um, all about? Well, it, the saints sort of have been in the family for a long time. I, this is our 50th year that, that we have had saints in the family. Mm. Started in 1969 when my dad was asked to be the saints announcer at Tulane Stadium, the old Tulane Stadium. Uh, the, that was the third year of the Saints organization. Dad was doing the announcing for Tulane football. Okay. And so, uh, because they needed to make a change, they asked Dad would he come back on Sunday and, and do the games on Sunday for the Saints. So he started back in 69 and uh, did 446 consecutive games. He never missed a Saints game, even during the Katrina years when the Saints played their games away because there wasn't the Dome. But they would play their home games away. Sure. Dad went with them and was the stadium announcer for those away home games, so they had the voice that they were used to. Yeah. So he uh, he took it 44 years, and in 2013, at the end of the preseason, he passed the mic on to me, uh, and I've been doing it ever since um, tw- uh, the, the regular season of 2013. What was that feeling like? Um, it, it of, co- of course, I, I'm. I, can't even button his shirt. He he was he's the man. He was yeah. the man. He, he, it was his. Uh, every, he's a great guy. I mean, yeah. he did it. So, I think what happened in the Saints' thinking is that I, I did sound a little bit like my dad. We both have the deviated septum, so we have that nasal <laughs> quality. And I had done some you know voice work around town, sure. auctioneering work, MC work, and um, the Saints approached us and and said, "Hey, would this would you?" like to, um, to talk to my dad and said, what, what do you think about this? And he said, that, that'd be perfect. So uh, I remember that first game, I, you know, nervous as you know what. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as soon as I got into it, dad had coached me, look, just be yourself. You know, mom was saying on the other side, you better sound like your father. <laughs> but uh, we, we did it. And, um, you know, for the first couple of games, he gave me some pointers and, you know, how to calm down and breathe slowly and things like that but this will be this is my sixth year in the 2018 season so it's an exciting year and so how many far. games what's the game count? well uh, I you know I'm not really counting the games but if I did 446 games or 44 years I'd sure. be 110 years old when I finish I don't think I'll be 100 <sighs> I don't think I'll be going 44 <laughs> years like my dad um but the other side of that story is my mother also attended 446 consecutive games because she went to every game with dad you're kidding me uh-huh and the other side of that story hero. is that she would have to stay the entire game. Back, you might know this, back in the early days of the Saints, mm-hmm. uh, we didn't, it, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a pretty picture on the field for, for many years. <laughs> when Mr. Benson came in, it, it, he brought this new energy and new, and new thoughts about bringing in this management, and, and that's when it really turned. But before that, it was... You had people wearing bags over their heads at the games, and it was some pretty bad football. Oh, goodness. So uh, those of us who would go to the games, we could leave at the end of the first half or in the third quarter. But mom had to stay the whole time with dad and had to suffer through all that. Oh, my goodness. So I joke with people. I said the first call I received after this news was coming out that I was going to sit in the seat that dad had for those years was from my mom and she said now you know mark you have to stay the whole game now i said yes ma'am i know i know fortunately it's it's a pleasure so but it's been great my sister Marbeth spots for me wonderful so she's helping me understand what's happening on the field uh, because things are happening very quick and you just have to receive it and and, and get i have and get it in and out because the nfl has certain rules about when you can speak and when you can and then sure. i have another spotter who, who takes the defense so Marbeth is doing the offense Tony Melito's got the defense. And uh, my brother Jay, another piece of the story, is uh, he's been an, he's the longest serving employee of the New Orleans Saints. You're kidding me. He's been there 43 years, I believe, this You're year. You're kidding me. Mm-hmm. He's the administrative director. He does everything from managing summer camp, training camp, to handling logistics of the team when they travel to other uh, cities. Uh, he that basically manages the facilities around uh, training camp on airline drive. Sure. Um, does a lot of things. And so up during the game day, he's in the house controls with us as well, and he's handling the scoreboard. Uh, so we've got my sister, my brother, and 
and and that, I'm there as well. So the whole family. Yeah. There. So and it's again, this is our fiftieth year. What a spectacular way to spend it's, the games. It's amazing. You can spend it with the family. My mom says there are two seasons in the year. There's waiting for the Saints season and the Saints season. <laughs> <laughs>